Hello, I'm Lewis Paul, and today I want to quickly discuss my cover of Jesus Christ 2005, God Bless America, originally by the 1975. The idea first began when I was working on an instrumental track. It was going to have a guitar solo and drums, it was going to be loud, it was going to be insane, it was going to be really long for some reason. However, I just got bored and I just started singing the first verse on the top of it because I had heard that song that day, it had just come out that day. And yeah, I started singing and next thing you know I had a whole first verse recreated and then the song kind of just took off from there. For the chorus, I decided I wanted to have a bit more energy. The original was a bit slower, it's a bit more calmer, a bit more acoustic-y, but I just wanted to have a bit more oomph in my version. So we have the electronic kit, we have the additional synths that just come in, and I think it really gives that oomph as well as my vocals, which are a bit more punty than Healy's in the original version. The second verse is also really similar to the first, except it's got two additional things. The first being that the electronic kit is still there. It keeps the momentum from the chorus going back into the second verse. The second thing is the additional delay on the vocals. Matt Bond, who does the mixing and mastering, he added that in post, and I think it really adds to the electronic side of it. And just, I, I really like it. He's done a great job. In fact, throughout the whole track, there's loads of little tiny bits of production here and there, which really add to the track and make it more ambient and feel like a 1975 track if it wasn't acoustic. It's also worth noting that in the second verse, Phoebe Bridges is the one singing. It's pretty obvious to say that she sings at a higher pitch than I do. I could try, but it might not sound that great. And plus, I feel like it would deflect from the serious message behind the lyrics. And I say that in the sense that if I tried to sing that high, it would almost feel like I'm taking a mick and taking a piss a bit, which I didn't want to do in this situation. It's just, it was meant to be a serious cover and it's not what I was going for. After the second verse comes the final chorus. Yes, the sign only has two choruses and two verses. I find it a very odd structure. I'm normally used to like two verses, three choruses, and a bridge or instrumental in between the second and the third chorus but that's what's done in the original I'm not complaining and by the point we get to the final chorus it's been three and a half minutes four minutes maybe I don't know the correct timing but it lasts for bloody ages <laughs> don't get me wrong it's a good track it's just how it is in fact, my version goes on for a one minute extra due to the long outro of the song. I think if I was to add an instrumental and then a third chorus, it would be too long. It's already too long. <laughs> That's the problem. It's, my version is already way too long. And if I added like a, an instrumental and a chorus, like it'd be eight, nine minutes. And no one wants to sit around for five minutes, let alone nine minutes. Sometimes when you're right writing, it's good to stop and just follow the original in this case. Lastly, a few words about the video itself. I shot it all. It was done at home. I'm in quarantine at the moment. So I had to edit it myself. I had to do everything myself. I'm not a video editor. It's probably not very good by professional standards, but I feel like it suited the mood. And I did really like the shot in front of a window with a microphone and the silhouette effect. I feel it really suited the mood of the song and I love playing up to the camera, being a drama queen and just having fun with the song because that's why I do music. It's fun. I love it. I love pretending to be a front man. I love singing in the shower, all that stuff. And yeah, that was just an opportunity to show that side of me. So thank you for watching my quick breakdown of my cover, Jesus Christ 2005, God Bless America, that is one line sign name and I'm quite thankful I won't have to say it out loud for the future at least. <laughs> if you have any additional questions feel free to ask, I'm always willing to discuss my music and everything with you. So thank you for watching, take care and have a good day.